today, this is about our dress code for ballet. So let's check out Miss Monica. She is in total perfect, here we go, ready for business ballet class. So she's got her leotard on, she's got a skirt on, which is not mandatory, it's optional, but a lot of kids do prefer to wear skirts or booty shorts. She has pink tights without holes in them, and she has her ballet shoes on with her little stuff tucked in. And she is also wearing a proper ballet bun that will not come out when she's turning in class and distract her or slow down the rest of the class. Good job, Miss Monica. Okay, so then Miss Alicia, who kind of looks like she's coming from an 80s party, don't we think? Um, close, we're close here, Miss Alicia, but Miss Alicia is not wearing a leotard. She's wearing a tank top, not two pieces, a double piece. She, nice skirt, good choice. She does not have pink tights on. She has leggings on, this is not okay. And she's got bright colored crazy socks on that are distracting and her shoes are not tucked in. So we wanna make sure that these are tucked in. On this same note, Miss Alicia is also wearing um, not full sole ballet shoes. So if you are on point, you can wear these. If you are not on point, you cannot wear these because we like the full sole because there's a muscle right about here that needs to be developed. And the only way to develop that is through resistance and that little bit of sole here gives that resistance and will build these muscles. This is like, um, really great for when you're on point and you already work that with your point shoes. Um, and it will help you have a nice long point or, uh, you know, extended foot. Also, she's got extra garb hanging on. Leave this in your dance bag. No really fun earrings. And she does have a bun, but this bun is not a proper ballet bun. This is a really good beach going bun or what we call the lazy bun. But as she turns throughout the dance, her dance class, as she's moving, this bun will become crazier and crazier and will be in her face and will be distracting to her and the rest of the class. The other thing she's got going on is her bra strap. So we totally encourage wearing the right support but this is not the right support, right? We wanna make sure that we're, our lines are clean and that we are looking like professional ballerinas when we come to dance class. 